Now let us start the next chapter decimals. So let us see an example for example Savita and Mamata are going to the market to buy some stationary items. So then so Savita said that I have 5 rupees 75 pies. And then Mamata said that I have 10 rupees 50 pies. Then how to represent so these rupees pies into rupees. So then we can write 5 rupees 75 pies in the rupees as 5.75 rupees. So here 10 rupees 50 pies we can write 10.50 rupees. So then there are some situations where we use decimals in our day to day life. Now let us learn about the first decimal part that is tenths. So we know the place values as ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and so on. So etc. So similarly we can write tens, hundreds, thousands etc. So then first let us learn about the tens. So for example Raju has a pencil of length 8 centimeters 4 millimeters then Ravi has a pencil of length 9 centimeters 6 millimeters so then how to represent the lengths of the two pencils in the decimal number so as we know that 10 millimeters equals to 1 centimeter then 1 millimeter equals to 1 by 10 centimeters so this 1 by 10 centimeters can also be written as 0 0.1 centimeters so here 8 centimeters 4 millimeters can be written as 8 plus so 4 millimeters means 4 by 10 centimeters so these two together now centimeters so this equals to 8.4 centimeters so similarly here 9 centimeters 6 millimeters can be written as 9 plus 6 by 10 centimeters so this can be written as 9.6 centimeters so to understand more about the decimal the tenth part so let us divide, let us represent the whole by a block. So this represents the whole if the block is divided into 10 equal parts. 1, 2, 3. So if the block is divided into 10 equal parts, then each part represents 1 tenth. So this part represents, so this block represents the whole part, whole. So then if the block is divided into 10 equal parts, then each part represents 1 tenth. So this is written as 1 by 10 or we can write 0 0.1. So if there are two parts, so then we write more 1 by 10. So this equals 0 0.1. So by adding these two, we get 0 0.2 and there are two tenths. Now here the decimal point lies between the 
whole and the tenth part. So this one is in the tenth part, tenth place, and zero in the ones place. So the decimal point lies between the whole part and the tenth part. So if you want to write seventy-five point or five point. 5.7 in the place value we write ones place then tens place so we write 5 here 7 now if you want to write 83.9 so then we take here hundreds place ones place then tens place so then we write hundreds place 8 tens place once then tens place so tens place 8 and once place 3 and tens place 9 so this becomes now 83.9 now representing decimal numbers on number line representing decimal numbers On number line now for example if you want to represent 3.4 5.3 on the number line so then first let us draw the number line so here we take 0 1 if you want to represent 3.4 and 2.8 so 1 2 3 4 5 so to represent 3.4 so after 3 between 3 and 4 let us make 10 equal parts so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so out of this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so out of these 10 equal parts, we want 4th part, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so this represents 3.4. Next, 2.8 lies between 2 and 3, so here also we make 10 equal parts between 2 and 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so we want 8th part. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this represents that 2.8. Now let us see the next one. Fractions as decimals. So the fraction with the denominator 10 can be written in the form of a decimal number. So let us take an example 11 by 5. So, but the denominator is not equal to 5. So, let us make the denominator. In this 11 by 5, the denominator is not equal to 10. So, the fractions with the denom denominator 10 can be written in the form of decimal number. So, if you consider the fraction 11 by 5, the denominator is not equal to 10. So, let us make the denominator 10 here. So, 5 2 times 10. So, we take 11 into 2 by 5 into 2. So this equals to 11 to the 22 by 5 to the 10. So this can be written as 2.2 in the decimal number. So as the number of zeros in the denominator is 1, so we place the decimal point 1 digit before from right side. So then if you take another example, 3 by 2. So then 3 by 2, if you write the denominator with 10, so 3 into 5 by 2 into 5. So this equals to 3 5 are 15 by 2 5 are 10. So this can be written as 1.5. Next, now decimals as fractions.
Now if any decimal number is given, so it can be written in the form of fraction. Let us convert the decimal number into the fraction. So 2.4 is there. So how to represent 2.4 in the form of a fraction? So let us write 2 plus 4 by 10. So this equals 2. So 2 can be written as 2 into 10 by 10 plus 4 by 10. So this equals to 2 times 20 by 10 plus 4 by 10. So when the denominators are equal, we can add the numerators 24 by 10. So if you write in the simplest form, we get 2 12s are 2 5s are. So we get 12 by 5. Next, 3.6. So this equals to 3.6 can be written as 3 plus 6 by 10. So 3 can be written as 3 into 10 by 10 plus 6 by 10. So 3 times are 30 by 10 plus 6 by 10. So then 30 plus 6, 36 by 10. So 2 18s are 36, 2 5s are 10. So we get 18 by 5. Now let us come back to fractions or decimals once again. So here 11 by 5 equals to we got 22 by 10. So this can be written as 22 means 20 plus 2 by 10. So this equals to 20 by 10 plus 2 by 10. So 20 by 10 means 2 plus 2 by 10 means 0.2. So we can write 2.2. So whereas 3 by 2 equals to we got 15 by 10 so this equals to 15 can be as 10 plus 5 by 10 so this equals to 10 by 10 plus 5 by 10 so yeah, 10 by 10 is 1 and 5 by 10 means 0 0.5 so we get 1.5 if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus